Hello, this video is for the beginners. Here I have tried to show how you can add Git in Android Studio and then add your project to Bitbucket. Why we need this one? This is needed for version controlling. We need sometimes lots of coding in different time and we want version like what I have done in previous and what I'm doing now so if you can go back later uh, I mean previous period and you can check your code what you have done for this uh, you need to install kit first uh, so how you can install the kit go to this side first this side you can get this site uh, just search on google it's called git installation and read this install on windows um, article and then install the git in your windows software in windows uh, machine for getting the exe for git go to this site and download the git exe so you have to download if your os is 32 bit then 32 bit git and if your os is 64 bit then 64 bit git uh, so after you install this is pretty simple installation just next 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 after you install this it should install your git in program files uh, folder so now what you need to do is you need to open the android studio if you open the android studio you can get this uh, window and click on the configure then go to settings and then go to version control and then click on git and you find the default path is there and if not you can click on the dot 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 and check your kit exe is there like whatever you have selected and if you don't found kit exe there then search on your windows folder for the git exe and set the path here Now click on the text, you can find uh, the message git executable successfully. If you don't uh, get this message, then you have to find out the exe and set up properly. So now click on the OK. Now what I'm doing here is you can create one uh, Android project uh, just any project I have put it this name is git testing click on next and then create one empty activity just whatever the default click finish so now it will open up the project in Android Studio okay now if you go to the VCS tab and then click on the enable version control integration it will open up a window and in window select the kit click OK now we have enabled git for this project and now you can see now all the codes all the files are in red color that means they have not added to the git version controlling so to add the git version controlling what we need to do is okay so you know that you can select your project by android or by project 
and you can see that uh, this unversioned file is 35 here if you click on version control and then local changes now select uh, your I mean select the project type and see all the files here and now uh, click on the kit right click go to kit and add so this add is locally add all the files to kit so now all the files have been added so now what you can do is you can open up a file and now change and think what you want and then you can commit again to the version control so what you can do is you can change and add now this is what we have changed locally but if you want to store this one in a server so you can use like github or anything else like big bucket here so why i'm using big bucket because big bucket is free and you can share this version control link with your friends github doesn't allow you to do that and it doesn't have limit for how much uh, source code you want to add in big bucket now what you can do is you can sign up first and after sign up to big bucket um, you will get this uh, page so what this page is saying is check your inbox to verify email so you verify your email and then open up the big bucket this is the big bucket home page and and this is the dashboard so now create a repository 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 is means a folder so what you are doing here is what we are creating a folder into the github and under this folder we will add all our project codes what we have done before in android studio now set up your local here is all the things is written in github so how you can set up is using the common prompt or uh, common line argument or using the GUI so what you need to do here here means in Android studio you need to open up the Android studio and then what you need to do is you need to add your project to the github uh, repository sorry to the big bit bucket repository now what i'm showing you is go to atlassian and download the source tree so now we have uh, introduced the source tree using the source tree we can use source tree you know source tree is the git clients to visualize the difference between code and now when you click on the clone new in source tree you have to put your server I mean, what the server source of your code what we have created the bitbucket repository so now copy the link here and then put uh, the link in your source path now in your destination path is what the project we have created this is git test go on now we need to go to the destination folder so if you uh, click source explorer and then copy the uh, folder path so this is the android studio project is the folder path and then git testing so copy this link and now we need to put this one in source tree destination folder path now okay 
so as we have put destination folder path now we need to put the username and password for the bit bucket uh, for authentication I put no, no, now we need to put the password I'm putting the pass my password here and then we need to log in I'm not sure why it is showing two times but I need to put again the password I'm putting it and then click login Okay, now click on the clone and it, and it will create the master repository. Now what we need to do, we have already created the clone. Now okay so now it is created a working directory with the git test project um, go to the git test uh, android studio and then click the vcs version control system Mm, then click here on the commit and push so what it is trying to commit and push to the server it just ignore it because there are some files which uh, probably I need to review but it is a test project so I'm not I don't I'm not caring much here, so just click on commit. So it says that I need to say something in the commit message. So this is my initial commit. So just initial files, then commit and push. If you click on commit and push, it try to commit, but what uh, it will do is I need to define the remote server because we have not defined the server yet so click on the define remote it's taking time Okay, now we need to copy the Bitbucket URL. Repository URL and paste there. Just need to put something Bitbucket or whatever you want. You need to put the Bitbucket password. Okay, here it's go. Just click on push and it will add all the code to the Bitbucket. This 
ticking done. Oh, okay, Bush is successful. Now, if you open up the Bitbucket and now go to the source, you will see all the source code. So this is how you can add uh, git to your um, Windows machine and then add this enable this one for Android Studio and then add uh, all your source code to Bitbucket using that way. So this is a very beginner post. Uh, I think it will help you to understanding. Thank you for watching.